This feature was truly one that I had no idea about. This feature allows the camera of the drone to rotate 90 degrees to the side, allowing for some stunning aerial portraits. But where do I go to apply these changes you all must be asking? Simple. Open your DJI app first. Uh, by the way, make sure your drone controller and drone are both turned on and are both operating correctly. If not, these next couple of steps are they're, they're going to be impossible. Moving on now, step number two. Click next to the drone on the DJI home screen. Once you are seeing the live drone feed, you'll then need to click on the three little dots on the top of the screen. After that, you'll then need to push the little RC button on the side of the menu. Once pushed, you'll then need to scroll down until you reach the menu settings that says 5D customization. Once there, click on any one of the buttons and make sure that the portrait mode is enabled. Once done, exit out of the menu. So for me at least, I have my portrait mode button set to the down position, which means all I have to do to switch the camera to portrait mode is push down the 5D button and boom, the camera goes into portrait mode. The cool thing about this feature is all you have to do to turn the camera back into landscape mode is push that same 5D button in the position that you set it to a second time. So for me, all I have to do is push the 5D button again to the down position at least. This method is by far the easiest method out there because it allows you to take the drone in and out of portrait mode with the push of a button. Hopefully you enjoyed this tip and let's continue with the video. This drone actually has the ability to zoom in and out. Keep in mind that, just like every other recording device, the more you zoom in, the lower the quality, so please take this ability with a grain of salt. Just like in the portrait mode feature, you'll want to make sure that you're all powered up and in the DJI live feed. Once there, you're then going to, again, click the three little dots and then click on the RC icon. You are going to, again, scroll down until you reach the menu option that says 5D button customization. We're then going to select two available slots and, well, put zoom in and zoom out in whichever slots you really want. After that, you're going to exit out of that screen and then you're going to go back to the live video feed. Then, you're going to click on the zoom in button that you decide to assign. For me at least, I selected the left movement for my zoom in and the right movement for my zoom out. As you've seen, the zoom in and zoom out functions are working great. For your information though, the DJI Mavic Pro cannot zoom in well in 4K resolution. I am also not sure if it can zoom in in 2.7K, but I'm positive that it can zoom in 1080. So, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. And by the way, this zoom in doesn't look terrible actually. I thought it would look worse zooming in, but it doesn't look that bad. But other than that, yeah, let, let, let's move on with the next tip. I know that this feature is one that many of the drones offer, but I thought I'd include it anyway since it's one that even many Mavic Pro users don't know about. Basically, what the Find My Drone feature is, is a really cool feature that allows you to locate your drone if you were to ever lose it. Now, how do you use it? Easy! First, make sure your drone is turned on and your RC is connected to the drone. Make sure that these two things are working properly, because if not, then the live Find My Drone feature will not work. Oh, and if you're a little confused, the live part basically allows for live feedback. So basically it has a map that will change live indicating if you're getting closer or farther to the drone. It also lets you push a button which will make the drone buzz and beep. This is a very helpful feature if you were to ever lose your drone in a hard to find area. But if you lose connection with the drone, or even worse, the drone's battery dies or even pops out, then the live find my drone feature will not work. Does that mean that your drone's lost forever? No. There's one more thing you can do if one of those more negative outcomes were to happen. But I'm thinking of making a separate video. If you want to see that video, please go to the comment section down below and punch in hashtag findmydrone. Yeah, that's right. Go right now. Right now. I like, I mean right now. Go tell it to the comment section and punch in hashtag findmydrone. I'll wait.
Oh, and while you're down there, give that subscribe button a tap as well. I will really appreciate it. Now moving on. In order to use the live Find My Drone feature, you're going to open up the DJI app, then you're going to click on the three dashes on the top right corner. Once you do that, you're then going to want to click on the button that says Find My Drone. Though you'll be brought to the Find My Drone interface, where if your drone and controller are still connected, you'll be able to track down your drone and at the same time, make the drone buzz and beep to help you find it. Remember, hashtag find my drone for that video. Now, on to the next tip. Alrighty, precision takeoff. Where to begin? Really, um, where do I begin? But for real, this feature is a really cool one. Like I said in my last video, Precision Takeoff is a really cool feature that allows the DJI Mavic Pro to land pinpoint where it took off from. But without further ado, let's show you how to use this cool feature. So first make sure you got your DJI app open and ready to go. Also make sure all your equipment is functioning correctly. You're then going to want to click on the Go Fly button in order to access the DJI Live feed. Once there, all you're going to want to do is press on the auto takeoff button and voila, there you can see the DJI precision takeoff feature. Now, I'm not going to go into much detail since I already talked about this feature in my previous video. Um, if you want to see that video, make sure to click up here in the cards, or you can just go down to the description and watch the video, but make sure to do that at the end of this video. But basically what precision takeoff is, in a nutshell, is a really cool automated feature that allows the drone to land pinpoint where it took off from. It does this by the use of satellites, but it mainly uses its four downward facing sensors. Two are ultrasonic and the other two are visual. Oh yeah, something else I should mention is that you shouldn't just sit down, post on social media, etc while the drone is in descent. Even though the drone has sensors which can sense if the ground is too dangerous to land on, you shouldn't trust it 100%. But yeah, that's really what you guys need to know about precision takeoff. On with the video. <laughs> it might not seem like it, but the gimbal calibration feature is definitely an important one. This feature allows you to straighten out a crooked camera frame. It can basically turn this into this, and this into this, and it can even turn this into this. Yep, all this can be achieved with the gimbal calibration feature, but how can it be used? Hmm, simple. All you have to do is open up the DJI app. I should probably stop saying this, right? Yeah, maybe. Moving on now, once you're on the app, push the go fly button and wait until you see the live camera view. Once you see the live camera view, click on the three little dots and then click on the little icon that looks like a camera. Once there, click on the button that says auto calibrate gimbal. Once you click that button, you will notice that the camera will begin making some strange movements and that you'll see a percentage bar. Don't worry about this since this is all normal. The camera is right now adjusting itself in the most optimal position in order to straighten out your camera and give you extremely awesome results. Once done, you'll see that your camera is much better in that it is no longer crooked. Yep, this is one of my favorite features since your gimbal and camera can lose alignment from pretty much anything. It could be from a lot of vibrations like from a car, it could also be caused by strong air, etc. Really anything can make your camera a little crooked, but not to worry, a quick little gimbal calibration can fix you right up. Literally, it only takes like a minute, but on with the next one. This is a really cool feature that many Mac Pro users and even other drone users don't know about. This feature allows the DJI Mavic Pro to tilt its camera higher than 90 degrees. This will actually allow you to tilt the camera up to 120 degrees, which is an extra 30 degrees, which is actually a lot. It basically allows you to see the sky from the drone, 
which is something that a lot of drones cannot do. But how do we access this amazing feature? Like always, you have to make sure that everything's powered on, that you have the DJI app also on. Now we're ready to get tilting. Make sure that you are in the DJI live video stream. Once there, you have to click on the three little dots. Once you click on the three little dots, you'll want to, again, push the gimbal icon. Once you reach the gimbal settings, click on the option that says Camera Gimbal Advanced Settings. Once there, look to where it says Gimbal Pitch Limit. You'll want to make sure that this is turned on. Once pushed, exit out of the menu. Now, once you scroll upwards, you'll be able to see things that you never would have been able to see before. You'll be able to see much higher, basically. You'll also notice that the little dot on the side dial will continue to move all the way up until it reaches the very top. Yep, you just unlocked a higher tilting gimbal feature. I hope you enjoyed, and let's move on to the final feature. isn't super huge, but I still think I should mention it. The wireless DJI goggles feature is pretty self-explanatory. Because the DJI Mavic Pro streaming system is OcuSync and not Lightbridge, you don't have to worry about carrying around a cable to connect the goggles to the controller. It is all wireless and trust me, that is awesome. Sadly, I don't have a pair of DJI goggles to show you how to use, but trust me, we will have one someday. But yeah, that's really what I wanted you guys to know. If you have a Mag Pro, you have OcuSync. If you have OcuSync, you could connect the DJI goggles wirelessly. Well, sadly we made it to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, by the way. If you did like the video, please make sure to show it by liking the video and subscribing. If you want to see some more of my videos, please make sure to also hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys all later. This has been Tutor Sector. 